Hi there, and today I'm opening up a package that I've just got from eBay. Now quite often I mooch around the many pages of eBay looking for bargains on various Lego things that I want at the time. But it's a very rare occasion when I come across something that I've never seen before. But recently I came across this item and just had to buy it. But before we open up this exciting little cardboard box, if you're going to like this video please do give it a thumbs up. And of course hit subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of more Lego videos. But let's see what's inside. And here it is, it's a Lego alarm clock. And like I said, I never knew that Lego actually produced these. So of course I went straight onto the internet to try and find out about it. And as it turns out, in the early 2000s, Lego actually produced 18 different clocks. All of the same design, but in different colours. Now I bought mine for a whopping £4.50, which I thought was a pretty good bargain. And looking on Bricklink at the list of all the other clocks that were ever made, currently there are only four of the designs for sale in the entire world. There's a plain blue clock for £26, a Jack Stone themed clock for £8, a Lego Racers clock for £6, and seven Star Wars clocks ranging between £11 and £16. Now mine is the Knight's Kingdom clock, and as I said there were none of those for sale on Bricklink, but looking at the page it also didn't have a price guide tab which means Bricklink hasn't had one for sale for at least six months. So after finding out it's difficult to get hold of any of these clocks, I was really pleased with the price that I got it for. So looking at its details, first of all, it's a true Lego colour. If I put this brick on top, you can see that it is virtually identical to the dark bluish grey colour. If you zoom in closely, it looks like the face is actually a cardboard insert, and it's got this Knight's Kingdom logo across the top. On the back, it's got this really nice stone wall effect, and then pointing to the 12, 3, 6 and 9, it's got this kind of compass design across it. The outer black ring turns around so I presume that's to make a rudimentary sort of timer so you can put this round to where the minute hand is and see how minutes have passed since you set it. Down in the bottom corner it's got this button which can turn on the light and snooze the alarm that's as long as it does actually work like it said in the eBay listing. The top is quite grubby and dirty but this is the alarm on off button so when it's down the alarm is off and when it's up the alarm is on which makes it very handy when you're in a dozy state to just bash it on the top and turn the alarm off. On the back we've got a battery compartment and we're going to stick a AA battery in there and check it works in a minute. And above that there are two dials, the left hand one sets the alarm and the right hand one sets the time. And you can see that those work perfectly well, there's turning the hands round for the time and then the other one turning the alarm hand round. And then above the two cogs are these two holes which actually take a Lego Technic pin because these clocks didn't come on their own, they came with a lot of Lego accessories. So again, looking at Bricklink, this clock came in set 4250348 and it was called Knight's Kingdom Clock Set. And it was released in 2005 and came with 15 parts and a minifigure. And looking more closely at the picture, you can see a larger Lego cog slightly sticking out the side, which are the items which go in the two Technic holes above the smaller cogs so they can mesh with them and make it easier to turn. Now of the 15 parts, there's nothing particularly rare except the two slopes come in a colour called blue violet and although that piece is easy to get hold of currently there are only two of those slopes in that colour for sale in the whole of the UK. Now the minifigure that came with it was Jaco from the Knight's Kingdom theme and he does come with this really cool shield and sword. So for a later video I'm going to try and track down all these parts and recreate the clock as it was when it was new. Now at the time of buying this on eBay I actually found three other clocks for sale. The first one is one of those plain blue ones, the second one is a pirate themed one and the third one is a soccer themed one and all these are going for prices in the mid 20s but amazingly what I did find is one of these clocks in its new original box for sale in America and that's going for $300 so I'm even more pleased that I managed to get this set for such a low price so I'd be really interested to know if anyone out there watching this has this clock or any of the other clocks so let me know in the comments below but finally let's put a battery inside it and check it works and nothing. So that's a bit of a shame and I'll be straight onto my eBay seller and check the details with him but I may give those terminals a little bit of a clean see if I can get it working first. So this is Future Jez editing the video the next day and with a little bit of an update. After some fiddling around with the battery you'll be able to see that the second hand is now happily going round. You just need a bit of wiggling around and it works perfectly. If you press the light button the light lights up the clock face but when the alarm button is on and the hands click round to the alarm time the alarm goes off and after a few seconds it changes tone and then after another few seconds it gets louder and then after the last few seconds it just sounds horrible so please as always give me your comments below and if you've liked this video please do give it a thumbs up and of course please subscribe for more LEGO videos